something kind of different to show you today and I don't know a lot about this plant but I did some research last night it's very interesting but I was out in the woodland gardens yesterday I seen some very cool looking seed pods but I planted some Jack in the pulpits uh, a few years back somebody gave me some plants I uh, didn't really know much about them at the time I just you know they were free plants put them in the ground but they've been in the ground probably two or three years and I went out yesterday like I said in the woodland gardens and I seen something red red laying on the ground so I went to go take a look at it and lo and behold this is what I found these are little seeds from the Jack in the pulpit plant which in fact sounds like it takes a few years to produce these seeds also it doesn't always happen you know readily because of plant being stressed so what I have to do with these is I have to extract them out of this little they're kind of a mushy type substance bulb there's seed inside of here I gotta wear gloves because it's an it's an irritant to the skin um, these can be planted outdoors right now or I can save them and put them in a damp uh, soil in a baggie and refrigerate them for a couple months and then maybe start them in the spring I don't know how these are gonna do I have no idea but aren't they cool I mean it's just something different a lot of them fell off so let's get over on the kitchen counter now and we'll get in close it says to remove the red flesh and plant the seeds immediately well we can do that or I can put them in baggies. It's kind of a little round seed. Look at that. Uh, if you're not familiar with Jack and Pulpits, uh, please look them up. Pretty cool little plant. I noticed though here in our area they go dormant. So I'm going to take and squeeze all the seeds out of here. It says that red pulp can be an irritant to the skin. And so, you know, you put you can put them in a Ziploc baggie with some warm water and mash them around in warm water to try to get as much pulp out as you can. I'm just going to do it this way and then I'll just rinse them off. Uh, Jack and the Pulp it grow in the shade of kind of a moist area. That's what they like. And they're very unique very unique plant. So as you can see there's quite a few here. I'm going to get these all done and then I'll show you. If they said it's very very important to get all the that red substance off of there. All the pulp is what they call it. And then we'll talk about how to plant them. As you can see I'm getting quite a few of them right here. Okay we got them all extracted here. Okay and I have them here. Now we're not supposed to let these dry out. It's very very important so if I wanted to plant some out today I could do that and it says here you know you remove we remove the red, red flesh I did that and planted the seeds plant the seeds immediately don't let them dry out sow the seeds outdoors where you want the plants to grow covering the seeds one fourth to one half inch of soil they should come up in the spring or another method is to refrigerate the freshly clean seeds in a plastic bag with some moist sand or you know I was thinking about doing maybe some peat in the spring uh, plant the seedlings outdoors or indoors it's up to you once plants become established in a favorite site favorable site they are likely to self seed I haven't noticed that yet uh, but this might be you know I don't know that this probably is the first year that I've really noticed some seeding but the seeds very tiny got quite a few as you can see and this stuff is really pretty new to me. I have never worked with these before. But I'm going to rinse these off. And we're going to put them in a bag. And one th thing about Jack and the Pulpits, you think the plant died. Uh, but what they do is they go dormant when it, in the summer months. They go dormant and then they'll come back up in the spring. So it's kind of a very unique little plant. Okay, I cleaned the seeds real good. I actually put them in a strainer. And made sure I got all that pulp off of them because that's what you're supposed to do. For now we got to keep them wet. And I have this vermiculite soil. I'm going to mix some with the seeds. We're going to wet it down a little bit. 
going to put a little bit of water, chlorine-free water on there and get it good and wet. And this is going to be, this is a trial and error thing for me. I have no idea if it's going to work, but I think it's very interesting. Now, the cold treatments, which they call stratifying, uh, it said any, any amount from 30 to 180 days. Now, the consistency of this is just damp, not soggy. And this will be fun to see what happens, you know, with it all. And I'll probably just check on these, put them in the refrigerator and check on them. Make sure I get all the air out. As you can see, you can see the seeds in there right there with the soil. So let's see how that goes. I'll mark the bag. So these are the Jack in the Pulpit seeds. Very fun indeed. So this will be something we will, hopefully, I can share with you later on. All right. This is Diane at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Garden. You guys, you guys take care, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.